So this is the problem. Step of x is equal to nine x by nine x plus eighteen, where uh, given integral one comma four. So by using any main value theorem, we have to determine the value of c means where the where the first derivative of the given function exists. Okay. See, we have three types of uh, theorems in that unit. What is what is that the uh, three theorems? One is Rose theorem and the Lagrange is main value theorem and partial main value theorem. In that three main value theorems. We have to use any one main value theorem. Then we have to find the value of c. That c should be between one comma four, right? So if you want to use, if you want to use Rose main value theorem, there should be f of one equal to f of four. If if you want to use Lagrange's main value theorem, there should be f of one is not equal to f of four. Then we have to use Lagrange's main value theorem. Okay, same like that. If you want to use Cauchy's main value theorem, here it should be two functions, f of x and g of x. Here you given only one function, so we can use either Rose theorem or Lagrange's main value theorem by finding f of one and f of four values for the first time, right? See, f of one, f of one is what now? Ten of one by nine of one plus twenty. So this is what ten by. Twenty-seven. So this is f of one. Like that, find f of four. F of four means in place of x substitute four, and then by nine of four plus eighteen. So this is what forty is divided by nine for the thirty-six. Thirty-six plus eighteen fifty. Thirty-six plus eighteen fifty-seven. Right. See two. So nine for the thirty-six, thirty-six plus eighteen was fifty-four, right? Okay. So two to the four zero and two to the four two seven the fourteen. This is what twenty by twenty seven. So clearly, here f of one is not equal to f of four. Clearly, f of one is not equal to f of four. And one more. This is a function which is continuous and as well as differentiable on integral one comma four. Why? Because in question is given satisfy the uh, given function satisfy the main value theorem. Then we have to find the value of c. E only given in the question so that so that uh, we can write directly given f of x is given f of x is continuous on Continuous on one comma four, and then f of x is differentiable on differentiable on integral one comma four. Okay. Now see, this given function satisfies all the conditions of the Lagrange's main value theorem. Therefore, f of x satisfies. Satisfies all the conditions of all the conditions of Lagrange's main value theorem. All the conditions of Lagrange's main value theorem. So all the conditions of Lagrange's main value theorem. If the given function is satisfies all the conditions of a main value theorem, then there exists. Then, then there exists c belongs to integral one comma four such that such that f dash of c must and should be equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. This is the formula. This is the method to solve to solve a given function by using a Lagrange's main value theorem. So here. You need f of b, f of a, and b and a as well as m dash of c. Okay. Here, f of one is nothing but f of a, and f of four is nothing but f of b, and a is nothing but one, and the b is nothing but four. Here we need to find m dash of c value. So let it be equation number one from one. So from one, what we have from one? 
above x is equal to 10x by 9 plus 10. So, m plus of c is nothing but the first derivative of the given function at a point c. So, we have to differentiate this function once. So, differentiate on both sides. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then you will get f dash of x is equal to, it is in the form of u by v. We can write v to differentiation of u is nothing but 10 minus u into differentiation of v is nothing but 9 is divided by 9x plus 8 whole square. u by v method, v into u derivative minus u into v derivative by v square. So it is now 90x plus 180 minus 90x. If you take in denominator in this, 9 plus common will get 9 square into x plus 2 whole square. Right? 90x, 90x cancel. So here, 180 is divided by 9 into 9, x plus 2 square. 9 ones are 9 20. So, 20 is divided by 9 of x plus 2 whole square. This is only f dash of x. But, we need f dash of c now. So, f dash of c is equal to, we can write, here f of 4 minus f of 1 is divided by 4 minus 1. Okay. We need nothing but 4 and h is nothing but 1. So f of 4 minus f of 1 by 4 minus 1. In place of f dash of c, we have to substitute this value instead of x as c. C 20 is divided by 9 of c plus 2 whole square. Is equal to f of 4 is nothing but f of 4 is nothing but 20 by 27. 20 is divided by 27 minus f of 1 is nothing but 10 by 27. 10 by 27 is divided by 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay. Now 20 by 9 into c plus 2 o square is equal to 20 minus 10 is 10. 10 by 27 into 3. So 10 ones are 10 twos are and 9 ones are 9 threes are. So 3 threes are 9, 9 twos are 18. So if you cross multiply c plus 2 both square is equal to you will get 18, right? You will get 18. Now I'm writing your thing. So 18, if you bring this square to this side, it will become square root. Then c plus 2 is equal to square root of 18. 18 square root of 18 is what? 9 to the 18, we can write 3 root 2. So c value is minus 2 plus 3 root 2. This is approximately equal to 2.24 something. So it is uh, belongs to, it belongs to 1 comma 4. It belongs to 1 comma 4. So, Therefore, our required solution C is equal to what? 2 minus 2 plus 3 root 2. So, this is our required C value. This value is uh, between 1 comma 4. Okay, this is again. It depends on question. In question only mentioned by using any main value theorem. So, solve the value of C. Find the value of C. So, first of all, if you give it like this, we have to check whether it is differentiable on interval 1 comma 4 or continuous on interval 1 comma 4. So after checking that, we have to we have to see f of b and f of a both are equal or not, right? So in question only given, given function is satisfying the main value theorem, then find the value of c so that this function definitely differentiable and also continuous, right? So, if I am finding here f of 1, f of 1 is f of a, f of 1 value we got 20 by 27 and as well as f of 4 value 20 by 27, here 10 by 27 and 20 by 10, 27. Therefore, f of 1 is not equal to f of 4. In, we know f of x is continuous and differentiable. Therefore, f of x is the other conditions of the is many value theorem. Then there exists c last to 1 comma 4 such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by 
P minus A. This is a theorem. Where you got this lines? This lines in the theorem itself. Okay. Now we have f of B is nothing but f of 4 and f of A is nothing but f of 1, 4 minus 1. f dash of C is nothing but first derivative of a given function at C. By substituting all the values of f dash of C, f of A, f of A, B minus B and A, then after solving, you will get the value of C that is minus 2 plus 3 root 2. This is my sign should be in between 1, comma 2. Okay. This is our required solution. This is very important for Main examination, this is, this is last to start with, right? Thank you. Thank you.